Hello and welcome. I am Nancy and you are watching News Today. It's time for headlines. About 15,000 nurses in Minnesota went on strike Monday morning, saying they are fighting for better staffing and better care for their patients. The strike is against 13 hospitals in the Minneapolis-St. Paul market, as well as Duluth. It is scheduled to last only three days, and the union says the strike is not about pay but over letting members provide the quality of care they want to provide to patients. We are not on strike for our wages. We're fighting for the ability to have some say over our profession and the work-life balance," said Mary Turner, a COVID ICU nurse and president of the Minnesota Nurses Association, the union waging the strike. The union said it has negotiated with hospital executives for more than five months and its members have worked without contracts for the last several months. Although Turner said the two sides have been moving closer to one another on wages, they are still far apart on economic terms and have made no progress on the union's demands to solve short staffing, retention and better patient care. Spokespeople for management at the various hospitals cannot afford to meet the nurses' demands and that they are doing what is needed to provide patients with uninterrupted care during the strike. Alina Health is focused on delivering safe, high-quality care throughout the duration of the Minnesota Nurses Association's three-day strike, said a statement from Alina Health, which owns four of the hospitals now on strike. A strike is not our desired outcome these negotiations, and Alina Health has been thoughtfully planning for months.